Little Ava Weidel and her twin brother Aiden were still in their mother's womb when Ava was diagnosed. The doctor came in and he said, you know, there's a problem with your daughter's heart. And, you know, you hear those words and you just think, well, what do you mean? Ava's parents, Christina and Brad, learned that without open heart surgery immediately after birth, Ava's chances of making it were slim. Ava has uh, one of the particular kinds of congenital heart disease called hypoplastic left heart syndrome, where the left side of the heart does not develop as it should. Dr. Benjamin Idem is a Mayo Clinic pediatric cardiologist who, along with surgeon Harold Burkhart, led the team that cared for Ava. Her right pumping chamber that has to supply blood to her lungs and to the rest of her body has to do the work of two pumping chambers. A medical team made up of experts from many specialties developed a detailed plan for Ava's arrival. It began with a scheduled C-section. So at 8.20, she was born and they basically pulled her out and they held her up, so I got to see her for a couple seconds, and then they had to whisk her away. You know, there's my little girl, and you know, you don't know what's going to happen from, from there on out. Babies like Ava need three different surgeries. During this first operation, Dr. Burkhardt and his team reconstructed the aortic arch so blood can flow to her brain and out to her body. He also placed a shunt to allow blood to flow to her lungs. The second surgery will happen when Ava is from four to six months old. Dr. Burkhart will create a conduit to allow blood flow from the top of her body to the lungs. Then when Ava's about two, the third surgery will help the blue blood from her body flow to her lungs for oxygenation. The first surgery is the most difficult, and Christina says it was tough to see their baby connected to a mass of tubes afterwards. Emotionally, it was so hard, I just couldn't hardly breathe. But this little girl survived. Ava means life. That's how we decided to yeah, name her Ava. For her first few months, Ava stayed in the neonatal ICU where she got to know the team that cared for her. But her parents say what their daughter grew to love most was to once again be close to Aiden, her twin brother. For Mayo Clinic News Network, I'm Vivian Williams. Those cheeks. <laughs>